Damn, this nigga got a whole goddamn. He really got a blog. He really got a blog. Alright, we're here with Preacher. Welcome to Music Speaks TV. Alright, I gotta start, like I said, by asking you, you know, the question of um, how you making it through the quarantine, like Corona, all that stuff. Now that's kind of dying down, you know what I'm saying? How'd you make it through it? Shit, just uh, maintaining. I uh, was saying everything closed down and shit, so nigga had to make a way, Facts. to be honest. Like I said, what it did for my business, I just used the downtime to like develop everything that I've been wanting to do. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? So like I couldn't travel, so it was like, all right, let me learn how to do this, let me learn how to do that. So I just developed more skills. Okay. So um, like what steps have you been taking? You know what I'm saying with no events or clubs being open. You know what I'm saying have you have you been taking the same approach? Oh yeah. Um, I've been honing my craft and shit. Like uh, um, okay. just trying to get better at every angle of myself. Right. Um. Just trying to elevate. Gotcha. All right, well, uh, let's give our subscribers like a history lesson. You know what I'm saying? About all your life, your early career, stuff like that. Where was Preacher born and raised? In oh, California. Okay, so here, right in the city. That, same with me. You know what I'm saying? I, I moved around like I lived um, in Atlanta for a couple months. You know what I'm saying? But other than that, I've been in Ocala. Yeah, you know uh, yeah. Ocala. So, uh, what was it like, in your opinion, being raised in Ocala? Uh, it was a struggle, to be honest. Coming up young, it was a struggle. Uh, I had to go through a lot of stuff. Gotcha. Uh, and it made me who I am today. Okay. What, uh, what part of Ocala are you from? Uh, every side. Every like, side. I ain't got no specific side, but gotcha. I done lived there well. Okay. So, you moved around a lot as a child? Mm -hmm. Everything like that? What type of music did you listen to as a child? Uh, I listened to like old head music growing yeah. up. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. So like, um, who was your favorite artist if you could pick one? Uh, <clears throat> I can't even pick. I don't even got one. I got I got a lot. So okay. it'll, it'll be like pairs of people. But I can say. A couple of them. Say just a uh, couple of them you listen to. Old head. Uh, DMX. Okay. Hey, bet. T.I. Yeah. Uh, Man, T.I. used to be, like I said, um, the early T.I. Yeah. My, like, trap music, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I'm serious, you know what I'm saying, T.I., like, all that. That's, that's the type of music for T.I., like. So, uh, like, even with T.I., like, what made you, like, what draw you, drew you to a lot of those artists back then? They true. They true. Yeah. yeah. So, like, DMX, T.I., they just they tell you how it is. You yeah. Know what I'm saying? Where you coming from, it's easy to relate to. So, uh, do you think music has gotten better or worse from when you were younger? Uh, it was better back then. Better back then? Yeah, because it was more real. Gotcha. So you think it's more like fabricated and people talking about like what they're not really doing nowadays? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who's your favorite artist from nowadays, though, that <clears throat> kind of reminds you of that feeling you got from back in the day when you listen to music? Uh, I, I fought with Gates. Kevin Gates. Okay. Yeah, yeah I there's a lot Gates. of truth in his music, too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, Gates is actually one of my favorite artists, too. Yeah. You know what I'm Currently, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so, um, what age did you start making music yourself? Uh, I'm all like eight years old, I had wrote some. Lame ass shit, but that was my first time writing. <laughs> so damn, you can trace it all the way back to eight. Yeah. Okay, dang, that's yeah. Like I get a lot of questions or a lot of answers. It'll be like I started a year ago or you know two years ago or something like that. So, <laughs> but you got a long history of you know what I'm saying trying to do it. Yeah. Like when did you start taking it as far as like serious and realizing okay, dang, if I take this serious and invest, it might can turn out into a path you know a career for me. Um. Some serious shit had happened to where I had opened my mind and then dropping it, like people started telling me how they fuck with it and shit. Gotcha. So uh, I kind of had a motivation. Right. So like I said, when I was doing um, some of my research, just getting into the music, you know what I'm saying? Um, let's talk about venting, you know what I'm saying? I think that was my first, like, the first time I posted you on our website. Yeah. Because uh, I, I do a lot of work with Merit Productions. So anything that he 
shoots and everything. I post on the website, show him love, show his brand love. Yeah. And you were one of those. So I just want to talk about that video. What um what was the motivation behind that song, first off? The motivation behind it was yeah. my life story, basically. Like uh periodic times throughout my life just coming together. Gotcha. And just speaking on it. Bad. And my city. Bad. And the video, like uh, who came up with the video concept? Was it Oh, that, that was me. Okay, you came up with the video concept? Yeah. Gotcha, because I like the, uh, my favorite scene of the video is, um, it's like a, it's lit up real good, and there's mm -hmm. no parking. Yeah. In the back with the fence. Yeah, oh, that, that, that was, uh, that was my, uh, Merritt. Okay, Merritt, yeah, 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 yeah. Merritt came up yeah, with that's that. Dope. That's dope, yeah, because, like, that's my favorite scene of that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, like, with the story that you were telling on the song. Yeah. It just fit, like, the, it shows, like, like I said, the truth of it, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying, what you were talking about, so. And the lighting was good on the face, everything like that. So yeah, married to this thing with that one. Yeah. All right. Um, is that song? Can you find it anywhere else besides like YouTube? Um, on all my social media platforms. Okay. So, yeah, they are they are there. Gotcha. So like on Facebook, you promote it. Mm -hmm. Instagram, stuff like that. Yep. All right. That's bad. All right. And then the next time you came back and you shot um another one with Merit. Cause that's one thing with all your videos. I see the shot with, uh, with Mary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you dropped Space Jam. Yeah. <laughs> so what was the motivation behind that track? Uh, oh, Space Jam. I felt like I was uh, somewhere else, to be honest, in my head. <laughs> okay. That's why I named it. I felt like I was above a lot of stuff. Bad. So that, that, that was the name where I found. I said Merit shot that one too, so again, that was like you and him just collaborating on the ideas and coming up with something. Yeah, locking in. Bet. That's dope. And then uh, Thug Gospel was one that, like I said, I got to see like behind the scenes of that one. Yeah. It was actually shot like <laughs> in this media side that we're doing the interview in. Mm -hmm. It was shot here, but um, it's before we had a lot of this stuff going on right now. Yeah, so. y'all got, got Suit up. Yeah, so it's definitely good, you know what I'm saying, to bring like you back through, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We definitely, like I said, we have history coming through the building, but now we got everything together, so that's why I just had to get you on the platform, you know what I'm saying, to introduce yourself to our subscribers, let them know what you got going on and everything like that. Because they can see the progress of, you know, what you've been working on from mm -hmm. that point and what we've been working on, you know what I'm saying? And then when we do one of these in the future again, yeah, it just keep showing the progress of everybody as they build. Yeah, yeah. That's what I like about it. 